In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The way of the cross is truly a pilgrim way, a journey in faith with Jesus into the mystery of God's love for us. Jesus did not take up the cross in order to show us how to die, but to show us how to live. The story of Our Lady and Saint Bernadette, the message of Lourdes, is none other than a call to renew in our hearts and in our lives the message of the Gospel. A message of the Father's love who sent his Son in poverty to seek out the poor and the sinner. A message of the Son who leads us to the Father. A message of conversion, a coming back to the Father with all our hearts. A message of mission, that we may be witnesses to the way of Jesus in the church and in the world. May Our Lady and Saint Bernadette guide us on this way of the cross and make our virtual pilgrimage a fruitful one. At the cross I station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last. The first station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of St. John Pilate said to the crowd, Behold the man. The crowd replied, Crucify him, crucify him. He handed him over to them to be crucified. Pilate and Jesus are two very different kinds of men. The man Pilate is a symbol of the pride, the wealth and the power of the Roman Empire. The man Jesus is the true man, another humanity, a divine humanity. When Pilate condemns Jesus, he condemns love. He makes the choice we sometimes make by refusing to follow a way of life open to God. In 1858, Bernadette Subiru was a young girl of 14 years, uneducated, sick and living in extreme poverty with her family. Yet her life was rich because her heart was open to God and filled with the riches of his love. Father, grant me the grace not to condemn love, but to live love and to follow the way you show me along the path of your divine humanity. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Through her heart is sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station, Jesus receives his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. St. John tells us in the Gospel, they took charge of Jesus and made him carry his cross to Golgotha. The cross is something we often see as a burden, something heavy, painful, unwanted. Jesus did not come to glorify suffering, but 
by taking up his cross, he shows us how precious we are in the sight of God. There is no limit to his love for us. It teaches us that we can turn each cross into a victory of love, just like Jesus. Bernadette had to bear many crosses in her life but it was through carrying these crosses faithfully that she entered into the happiness of the other world promised by Our Lady at the third apparition. Father, help me to accept the cross in my life, whatever it may be, suffering, loneliness, bereavement, failure, Give me the grace to know that you are carrying it with me so that it becomes for me a source of new life. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me whatever you wish. Oh, how sad and so distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station, Jesus falls a first time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Even when God afflicts you, he shows mercy in his abounding kindness. Jesus came as a human being, sharing all the limitations and weaknesses of human nature. His falling to the ground reminds us of our weaknesses. His getting up again reminds us that only love can enable us to overcome our wrongdoing and help us begin again. Our Lady asks Bernadette to kiss the ground for sinners, a kiss of love, an act of self-sacrifice to heal the sins of many, to put the sinner back on his feet, to walk and walk again with Jesus. Father, you save the poor who cry to you, and you lift up those who have fallen. Give me a spirit of dependence, rooted in humility, so that I might help and support all who fall under the weight of suffering. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of her soul begotten one. Christ above in torment times she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Simeon said to Mary, at the presentation in the temple. A sword of sorrow will pierce your heart. A mother meets her son, both in agony, both in indescribable heartache. In this man, Jesus, and in this woman, Mary, there is a spoken yes to the Father, A yes to love, to that divine desire to restore human relationships within the heart of love itself. 
in saying yes to the request of Our Lady. Saint Bernadette has played her part in helping us rediscover the wonderful message of the Gospel. The message which is the message of the plan of divine love for the human race. Help us, Lord, to learn from the motherhood of Mary how to love every person as a beloved child, how to become signs of your supporting care. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always. Then do with me whatever you wish. Is there one who would not weep Whelmed in misery so deep Christ's dear mother to behold The fifth station Simon of Cyrene carries the cross behind our Lord We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of St. Luke As they were leading Jesus away to crucify him, they compelled Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross behind Jesus. Simon was hauled from the crowd and forced to help. Jesus needed Simon. The cross was heavy and he was getting weaker. We encounter those who suffer, but do not want to do anything that might make us unpopular. Let us be like Simon and help others with their crosses. Bernadette helped lighten the crosses of the sick sisters at Nevers when she was helping in the infirmary. Make us worthy, Lord, to serve our fellow men throughout the world who live and die in poverty and hunger. Give them by our hands their daily bread. By our understanding, give them peace and joy. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In Matthew's Gospel we read, of, or first of all in the Psalms, it is your face, O Lord, that I seek, hide not your face. Then in Matthew, truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, you did it to me. A woman sees the holy face disfigured. She wipes that face. This simple act leaves her with the imprint of the face of Jesus on her towel. Each act of charity leaves an imprint of the Saviour's image on our souls as on Veronica's towel. Let us be like Veronica and respond to those who suffer. The muddy water that Our Lady asked her to wash in disfigured Bernadette's face. It is a reminder to us of how our souls are disfigured by sin.
Father of light, no one has seen your face. Yet through your loving Son, we can see it come clear in the least and most contemptible of people. Give us eyes to see, so that we may see you in those who seek our help. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Bruzirided, cursed, defiled, she beheld a tender child. All with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am a worm and not a man, scorned by all, the laughing stock of the people. Jesus falls again. We fall again and again because of infidelity or hardness of heart. God does not leave us crushed by our burden and our sin, but he saves us. Our Lady said to Bernadette, Penance, 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 pray for sinners. We are called to this conversion through the love God has for each of us. In this way, he helps us to rise again and walk further with him. Give me courage, Lord, when failure presses heavily on me and I am desolate. Stretch out your hand and raise me up. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all in bloody scourges ran. For the sins of his own nation Saw him hang in desolation Till his spirit forth he sent The eighth station, the women of Jerusalem mourn for Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. And there followed him women who bewailed and lamented him. But he said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but for yourselves and for your children. Jesus reminds us that it is not enough to have pity on those who suffer and are subject to injustice. We have to act, to commit ourselves to changing what needs to be changed in our lives and in our society. St. Bernadette said, I ask you to pray to the Immaculate Virgin to obtain for me from her Son the grace to cooperate fully in the plans God has for me. Father, you placed in each of us the gift of compassion and the longing for justice. Help us to realise our responsibility for each other's pain and like Jesus to give our lives for all. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. 
I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. O the mother fount of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with thine accord. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From St. Paul to the Philippians He became humbler still, making himself obedient to death, death on a cross. Every station along this way of the cross is a milestone of obedience and self-deprivation. When we see Jesus falling the third time, we appreciate how much he loved us. In her last agony, Bernadette said, I would not have believed that one has to suffer so much to die. Father, you willed that your incarnate Son should be obedient to death, even death on a cross. Grant that by the example of his humiliations and suffering, we may share in his courage by walking upright to our own Calvary. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ, my Lord. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Job tells us in the Old Testament, naked I came from my mother's womb and naked shall I return. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. When Jesus is stripped at Golgotha, not just is he stripped of his clothes, but also of his dignity, his respect, his rights. He is also stripped of his life by the Romans. He was naked and vulnerable before the people. Bernadette humiliated herself by kissing the ground, eating grass, and washing her face in the muddy water. But she then allowed God to clothe her in his love, a love she lived the rest of her life. Lord, give us the grace to devoid ourselves of our masks and all that puts a barrier between us and you, so that we might be clothed in the garments of your love. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I, I may love you always and then do with me whatever you wish. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew, of my Saviour crucified. 
crucified. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count every one of my bones. We are surrounded by many people nailed, as it were, to a bed of sickness, to a wheelchair, to pain, to suffering. It is this reality that Jesus shares as he remains nailed to the cross. It is this suffering, this reality, that Jesus wished to transform with his love. It is in this suffering that he calls us also to care for and fill with his love, by giving hope and giving our time, by sharing with those in need. Only love can give heart to our wounded brothers and sisters. When nailed, as it were, to her bed of pain, Bernadette spoke of the transforming power of love when she said, I am happier on my bed of suffering with my crucifix in my hand than than a queen on her throne. Father, before your son gives himself up to death, he commits his body to the cross. May the memory of his cross and resurrection Help us to free ourselves of all attachment to sin. May he draw us to himself and make us share us in his sufferings, so that one day we may share his glory. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew, of my Saviour crucified. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all my sins was slain. Who for me in torments died. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. While pinned, immobile to the cross, Jesus cried out, I am thirsty. They gave him vinegar, sour wine, wine pressed from the vintage of our toil, a symbol of the bitter taste of our sinfulness. St. Bernadette, in her dying moments, was also given vinegar. It was used in her day as a kind of aid to revive those who had difficulty in breathing. But it also reminds us that her whole life has been a sacrifice for sinners. Bernadette's life is an echo of the cry of Jesus, dying in thirst for our love. Let us pray with Saint Bernadette in a prayer she composed before the cross. Lord, I cannot shed my blood and give my life for you. At least I desire to die to all that displeases you, 
to the desire of my senses, to the world and to myself. Cross of my Saviour, you are the tree of life that unites heaven and earth and the altar upon which I wish to sacrifice myself in dying with Jesus. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having attended you. Never permit me to be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always. Then do with me whatever you wish. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of St. Mark Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. Pilate, having been reassured that Jesus was dead, granted his body to Joseph, who took Jesus down from the cross. Jesus, taken down from the cross, is again in the arms of his mother, as he was in the stable of Bethlehem and at Nazareth. The friends of Jesus acted out of love, and they also acted out of haste in order to bury Jesus before the feast of the Passover. The Jews wanted no reminders of the cross. But the cross remains throughout history as a sign of God's love for us. Bernadette described the cross as the tree of life, the mysterious ladder which unites heaven and earth, God's embracing of all peoples. Father, as we stand beneath the cross, we desire to venerate the body of your Son lying lifeless in the arms of his mother. May we imitate her by accepting a share in his cross and by trying to live always in your presence, freed from sin and the fear of death. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, is all I ask of thee to give. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. St. John tells us in his gospel, now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden and in it was a new tomb. As the tomb was close at hand, they laid him there. From the moment when man because of sin was banished from the tree of life. The earth became a burial ground. In one of the innumerable tombs scattered all over the continents of this planet of ours, the Son of God, the man Jesus Christ, conquered death with death. Jesus lies in the ground dead Yet now the earth is pregnant with eternal life. Bernadette lived in the same hope as she looked to the happiness of the other world promised to her by Our Lady. 
Like Jesus in the tomb, she waited for the life of the resurrection. Lord, of all hopes and freedom, like the grain of wheat you fell into the ground and died to give us life. When all our hopes fail, give us courage. When we feel cut off, bring us back to the newness of life. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me whatever you wish. Virgin of all virgins best, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. The fifteenth station, Jesus is risen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. On the first day of the week the women went to the tomb. Two men in dazzling white appeared to them and said, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he is risen. The life of Jesus does not stop at the cross. If it did, our faith would be in vain. Christ's death won us back from death. His resurrection gives us new hope. The cross and the resurrection can never be separated. They are the one movement of Jesus towards the Father. The first thing Bernadette did with Our Lady was to make the sign of the cross. The last thing Bernadette did on her deathbed was to summon up all her energy to make the sign of the cross. She then passed with the sign of the cross from this world to the other world, the world of the resurrection. Let us always remember that for every Good Friday there is always an Easter Sunday. God our Father, by raising Christ your Son, you conquered the power of death and opened the way to eternal life. Raise us up and renew our lives by the Spirit that lives within us. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me whatever you wish. Christ has died. Alleluia. Christ is risen, alleluia. Christ will come again, alleluia, alleluia. Let me to thy latest breath in my body bear the death of that dying Son of mine. On the first Easter day, Jesus said to the women, Go, tell the disciples. At the ascension, Jesus said to the disciples, Go, teach all nations. At Pentecost, the Spirit gave power to the disciples to go and proclaim. Our Lady said to St. Bernadette, Go, Tell the priests. At baptism, we are called to proclaim the good news. At confirmation, we receive the Holy Spirit to strengthen us in our mission. The celebration of the Mass renews us for that mission. So let us go to live and proclaim a God who shows us how much he loves us through the death and resurrection of his Son, Jesus Christ. And so, let us now pray for the intentions of Pope Francis. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.